Yeah. Motherfuckers oh, no, flying to the motherf- flying the space for man for a few See. minutes while you got motherfucking the whole Asia yeah. Europe underwater. Yeah. Look, let me put my shit on. The whole you United States burning. Go clean off. Everything on fire. I, you know what I'm I got you. Yeah, man. It's, let me pull up my. Yeah. I ain't got a lot, no to, lot to talk now. about. Man, what? A lot to talk about. And the go off will be a go off. Mostly, today. not mainly niggas that's today. Sh- but I get. I mean, you know, it's you know that's gonna We're come up. Absolving them. Yeah, today. that's gonna come up. All right, well, we we good. We good. Let me get this label. Yeah, we gotta off. get all. I'm. I am product placement then. Troop four ninety one. By Fareem the Prophet. Go see it. That's that boy. I think it was his debut film. He did a short a little while ago. That's my son. That's my dog. Yes, sir. Five Beta 2005. How are you? Oh, yeah. Something different. Okay. That boy did a whole Boy Scout movie on y'all. Yeah, he got some other ones out there, though. But anyway, yeah, my dog. Black man, yes, sir. My back dog. in this thing, son. Back in this Greg thing. Greg and man. Dave back in the in a habit. The go off. You feel me? Um, yeah, dude. You know how we, you know, we like to start just reflecting. Yep. Been getting, you know, me just getting better, getting stronger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, man, just trying to come back and do it again for y'all. Yes, sir. Like I said, lessons learned. Um, we going to incorporate some things. Uh, but today, I just feel like it's a, it's a go-off session. It's summertime. It's overdue. about to start back It's up. overdue. You got to clarify CP3 some shit. CP3 then took a L. <laughs> Uh, Robinette, they, I, man, we just about to dig into it. So, I, I, I mean, America, I have a lot in common with Americans, right? So, me and you, we ain't, you know, putting our business out in the street, but we, Jamaican, with it, got a side hustle here, there, yeah. whatever, and we had pretty mainstream side hustles, right? You know, like core America, America, America. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Side hustles, red, red us, right? bloody. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, this weekend was a big weekend for my my middle America side hustle. And uh, man, just appreciating the activity. You know, I'm I'm it's baseball. I'm a baseball head, right? Mm-hmm. And that's that's America. And favorite pastime, yeah, right there. Coached in uh, this tournament, but seeing all you know, I'm child free, living that good life. Um, but coaching the team, my little nephew on the team, mm-hmm. all the families going out there. You feel me, Laf- Lafayette? All right, Middle America, Louisiana, salt of the earth people. You know what they kind of remind me of? You know how people in in New York be like claiming Italian. Uh, and like Boston, they be claiming they rubbing the Irish. Yeah, boy, them Lafayette, boy, that that cage, that cage. Oh yeah, down I mean, here, that's, that's the university logo. I yeah. mean, uh, mascot. All oh, this little area, this Acadia, ULL mascot. Like, you, you you could call it Lafayette. The this region, Acadia, a region, region cage. All not just not just regular cage, we region cage. Four and five, it's we all in here. Four and five. So, just you know, chilling, man. Everybody mad at Blue when he you know missed a strike. Everybody who been hollering, they son, they little boy, the best or whatever, um, excited. It's baseball, man. Yeah. And it's everybody staying, everybody out there staying the same, you know, hotels and everything. Everybody kid, like playing in the pool, all that, man. Right, so right. baseball, right? And just started thinking about, I really have way more in common with, I say, my socioeconomic peers in America than you, m- many of my race who may not, who not on, right? you know, on the same socioeconomic situation that I enjoy. Mm-hmm. I Blessed get it. with, really. I get it. And then is do come up to me. So we lost in the chip, right? I could run it down, baseball, I'm drove, but I'm a cop to it. You know, All right. two coaching moves, we it would have been a different situation. You know, it wasn't really happening. You know, team effort was, but we was in the game till the end. Um, That's real. And you I'll can self-assess. Eat. I'll eat. You can self-assess. Right? That's real. After the game, white dude come up to me. Man, it's amazing, you know, what you're doing. 
those kid, you know, with those kids in New Orleans, you know, it's just, like bitch. Like I'm saving something. Like this Coach Carter or something. Right. You don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know nothing about me. But he convinced in his mind that it's a movie story somehow. <laughs> well, I mean that that's that's like, the, oh, that's but that that I guess that's what America assumes is the only context under that's which That's where he you is be, at. I had to deal America. with it too. You that's feel me? Shit, we talk about America. I I had to deal with it too because I'm going out. You know, and it's like we get that heat of that battle, and it's easy to default to that because it's America. You know, to psych myself. You know, I just be like Jordan invented slights and everything to motivate itself. You know me. Yeah. I mean, I'm like my part. White people don't want you out there, B- bitch. We here. Right now, nah, what? Do something. Yeah. yeah. So I got that on my mind already. And he had it on his mind that these save a nigga story, hoorah, they beat all the odds, and it came up just short. Like, that's no. We should have whipped y'all. We yeah. do this. Yeah. This ain't no happenstance. Was, you know what I mean? He was, he was trying to be a, a consolation comic. No, he okay. really felt in his heart like, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and give to uh, Catholic Charity because I heard they be donating to the parks and shit, you know. I like what I see out this young man giving back to his community. Like, bitch, who is you? Like I said, man, yeah. this is America, man. So that's that, that's the only context under which you could be trying to make a difference in the yeah, life of Yeah, exactly. Kids. It's not just because that's what you do. I'm going to help some poor kids. That, 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 Nigga, that's, my right field of more whole neurosurgeon. Well, he don't see that. That's what, yeah. He don't see that. He, right. he see, you know, the, the, the American perspective is, his mother's probably, you know, struggling, single mother. Yeah. You know, don't know where that's the really male is. It, 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 he had, so that's really on his mind. The, the fact that he had already played through that narrative and decided to make, yeah. make a move on that narrative. Yeah. That's America. Right I'm going to do the right that thing here. That is America. I'm going to do the right thing here. I'm going to congratulate this black man. Cause they don't get enough credit for when they when they do it. We put them all in the news when they when they. But when that's going through your court. his mind, what's going through your mind is two more moves and that we bust y'all ass. Y'all. Y'all, bust y'all, ass. y'all crying. We the bust y'all ass. Man, two come more on. moves. So, but that, then but, you hit me with the, with the no. I didn't. I was so I had all I was baseballed out for like the last seven days. I didn't yeah. forgot. I didn't hit you with the podcast. Yeah, man, go on, please. Yeah, yeah. so that go this. On. So it's the what's the U.S. Weekly's uh, U.S. News and New, World Report. New, all right, so they're, they're you. They're, I read the shit. I knew I was looking their at their list it. of yeah. colleges. The college scores. I mean, this is an, an an arbitrary. If I have anything to, by my opinion, is it an arbitrary system you mean that they, ass, they, they, they they assign values to to colleges, which in large part influences the choices that a lot of young Period. people make. On which school that they're gonna go to. Period. But for the for them to describe the shit, basically, the result of a joke, you know, a a a flawed algorithm that they thought was so proprietary, nobody would ever be able to figure the shit out. And then a couple grad school a grad students just like, hey, let's let's reverse engineer this shit, right? And then we find out that. The 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 entire the, the, the entire you list about, the man, entire like, list is designed know. to punish schools that give you know non traditional students first time first generation college students you know students who are black students who are poor to give those students the opportunity to pursue further education Th- the schools that make an intentional effort to reach out to those students those th- those schools get penalized so then we're trying to figure out why why all the HBCUs you know, not like, even ranked. Well, I, they had spell. I think they had Spelman ranked at like sixty some. But I played myself just now because I was having this conversation with somebody who went to a PWI. number one. The not even uh the the one. Right. Everybody be trying to go to right. So I had to, I had to tell him. I'm like, look, black people been had the rankings. They just not in U.S. News and World Report. Right. We not in y'all rankings. Yeah. I don't. You know. Like, I looked at U.S. News when I was looking for school, just like everybody else in America, right? But I also had a whole separate list of Howard and Mohouse. Shit and Spell, you knew that was just Tools for you. Sweat. Shit yeah. you knew that was just for you. Xavier, Dylan, that was, they, that was on the list. 
I had my own list. Right. And that's what these white people don't. Our shit cold. We, all we really want is for you to leave us the fuck alone. So you could say what the fuck you want. <clears throat> but I will never forget walking into Norma Williams Biology 101 class in Ernest Just Hall and looking down at the book and seeing that the person who wrote the book was Dr. Norma Williams. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're going to get their money now. Man, they sleep. But so, so hold up. Wait. Cheese. So now. That happens so, at but, Howard frequently. But this is, but this is a different kind frequently. of conversation. Yeah. Like, I am being taught by my own. Period. But a different kind of genius. Like, she ain't just here teaching. She wrote the fucking book, bro. Right? So that, 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 that gives me a different kind of confidence in knowing I got this information from my own. And I don't have to question right. it. I ain't got to doubt it, right? So you can't tell me shit about the value of black education. Man, look. The HBCUs. Like, I, I'm not here for that discussion. So I ain't here for that shit at all. My main thing mm-hmm. at Howard was... Every day. You could never say a nigga hating on you because you black. Period. And that's... That... I you got a hustle. A lot of people don't really want... Consciously or un- because so look, ain't no HBCU gonna coddle your ass. It, it ain't even that, man. Though. Look, man, that's exactly it that, it may, it, that might not be know that because we went there. Because they be talking about oh, support but and Dave, looking out for but the Dave, the right. preparation right. that you had for real life by dealing with the frustration of the fucking calling, the calling registration. And, and what you, yeah, all right, then. So, what you couldn't do is say, nigga, hating on me because I'm black. No, nah, that, you, that, yeah, that, you, you don't have that's that. You. Lost. Yeah, that's in your soul. That's like that's on you. That's, that's your home training. That's proven in this. That don't have nothing to do with you being that's black. Proven in this crucible right here. Yeah, that don't have nothing to do with you being black. If as you not, not ready fact, for that, as kinda, matter of fact, you probably man. didn't get told you washed as soon as you Period. should have because you black. Because you black. And that's, that's this is just a black affirming environment. So they probably gave you an extra week of washing this. Simply because they like, let me just get a little brother yeah. opportunity. That's probably well, happened look, to a lot of people. That validation sticker is every kind of color but black and white. That ain't got shit to do with no race. And if you don't got one, you don't fucking exist mm-hmm. on this campus, all right? This ain't for you. You don't exist this on ain't, this campus. This ain't you. I, Son, I remember the variety show that the campus pals put on my freshman year. They sung a whole fucking song about the fucking validation This is how you really sticker. felt when you got that bitch. <laughs> What? Every so like semester. A, so like I'm saying. Every semester. So, so, so that type of real, like, real pledging shit to get a fucking validation sticker prepared Period. you for all kind of man, frustration but, that you was going to see in your real life, man. But then, let's bring it back again to America, right? So I immediately saw the shit. My immediate response was, you know, so what was going on? Because it's two things. One, because white people. And we're going to dive into that. But two, on us, because of the white man ice cold or shit, right? Definitely wasn't because that. Because the white man say the white man school better. Right. That's where all the black people. Now, let me be clear in my stance. I think undergrad, you hit this HBCU. Oh, yeah. They got one for you. Oh, yeah. And then Undrag- graduate school, you go find grad school. Go get that receipt. So look, son. Go get that so look, white receipt. So look, this is go ahead this, and check this, that is, this is the way I approached education, right? So I felt like to me, Howard was the best black education that was on the table for me, and there were a few of them. When it came time to look at graduate school, I felt like Tulane was the best PWI education on the ta- on the table for me. But look though, because I felt like regardless of what room I sat in. You was either going to have a high respect for black education and you was going to understand what the Howard experience was. Or you was going to have this, this, you know, this typical understanding and respect for PWI education. You was going to understand what Tulane was. Mm-hmm. So either way, you was going to have to hear me out. So that, oh, that, yeah, that, that, that was the exact trajectory that I followed when I was approaching education. And I, I think all young people should do the exact same thing. We ain't wind up, but Greg, again, we ain't wind up on the go off by accident. Understood. You feel me? Not only did we play, you know, at those levels, we known for going off. So it, it don't really, really, but I'm going to tell you how I played myself because I fell victim to it, you feel me? I remember saying in high school, why I won't go to HBCU in my junior year? Why I won't go to HBCU? The world ain't black, so why should I go to a black school? Right. That's how washed I was, right? Then again... 
for law school. I remember we talked about nigga it. Nigga hit me I with remember the, we talked about it. Do you want that third degree from, from an HBCU? Or do you need to check that white box? Mm-hmm. So, okay. I remember we talked about right? that shit. Bringing it back to where we at today, right? So, America, dude came at me. You bitch, you don't know me. But that shit wasn't even really important. I recognize it. He wasn't trying to he be oblivious asshole. to that shit. Yeah. He's oblivious to that. He's not oblivious. He think he intentionally trying. But I'm saying from the perspective where you at, he, yeah, he, he don't, don't even see that. Yeah, he don't even see that. He don't, he don't see know that. about that. Right? So is is got me thinking. And this is always an underlying theme and what's going on with America from the get-go, right? Yeah. These rich people driving home these petty ass culture issues. Excuse my language, depending on your culture issue. <laughs> your shit petty, just like you feel like somebody else shit petty. Yeah, Might be yeah. my shit you feel petty, but that is what it petty. is. God damn it. it and it racial is. and discriminate, you know, issues of equity and equality, they use race and these other petty shit to create these divisions between people, the large majority of America. We're poor. We, and basically, I was about to say we got shit in common, but we poor. We poor. We the poor. Yeah, fucking right. So my question to these white people, and I've had conversations, you know, and the comments have come in. You know, I'm talking about with black people. I don't really talk to white people about this kind of shit. So I'm putting it out there. So... Are you just accepting the fact that these rich people just going, like, that shit is a thing, Mm -hmm. right? And you just accept that. You either hustling, you know, trying to make it better for you and yours, given Mm -hmm. that situation. You know, you either trying to be the rich nigga and be like, fuck it, to get to this cheese, I got to fuck over somebody. Or, you know, you done checked out. And you in Oregon driving a van somewhere and Frisco sleeping on the street. Oh, like, you living your whole shit. Yeah. wash white life. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like, do you just know that and go about <clears throat> shit? Or are you really stupid enough, stupid, stupid enough to feel <laughs> like what bathroom a nigga use is destroying the country? Like, that's the shit? You go in the voting booth, be like, yeah. I, the cheese shit, you know, if they really do this wealth redistribution shit, like, it might pop for me. But my little girl might be cold in the 100-meter hurdles and excuse I, the slur for the alphabet community. You know, he going he to run with the girls. Right. I'm gonna fuck over my daughter. I can't let that happen. Right. So I need to vote for a nigga who bought that. <laughs> fuck fuck that he, you know. We already talk- all the other shit. We already talked about That's people voting that, against their self interest. It's Dave, not even against their interest. Dave, we had a whole we had a whole show about it. A whole so show I'm, about I'm it. not even gonna call it against the interest. Cause I really wanna know, like the the, the first question that needs to be asked is, do you even notice your interest? Like, I'm giving that you know it's your interest. And I'm saying, do you just take the world as it come, take this country as it come, and be like, fuck, I'm going to get mine. I'm, you know, I, I hear y'all talking about this better way to do shit, but right now today... A lot, a lot of us take that. I'm, a lot of us take that approach, son. But yeah, that's you, what, got, people, you, got no, you got no choice. People, like I said, I got a lot in common. Yeah, we, we got no choice. We got a lot in common. You got no choice. You have to. So that's why I'm at. This shit will roll like, over you if you don't. Yeah, but why? Like, I don't feel like that's what's happening though. I feel like the only reason it ain't, it ain't the invisible hand, right? Oh, so very much so. You took the economics and shit, the the mic, whatever, the econ one, econ two, whatever it was. They talk about this invisible hand shit, right? The theory. They talk about corporations and boards acting. Like that shit is a, 
is a being. It's That's people. People. Still people. Yeah. That's people doing the shit. Still people. Yeah. They got to make a decision. And it's not secret people. Somebody know who the fuck they is. Right. And like, is nobody trying? Is everybody that deep into their own hustle? Yeah. Where they just like, fuck it. Yeah, it's the rat race. Uh, yeah, it's the it's the rat race of what America is, man. Well, like that's from, how it's from up, your man. from your from your formative stages, Dave. Like you are taught you gotta get yours. Like, you know, you might have some people along the way that might, you but know, you ride grew with up you. Here and I grew up here and man. we we don't we not like that. However, you I mean we carving like, let me let me cop it. Like we carving out good lives for ourselves, given the, in my case, I don't know how you feel about your case, an extremely fortunate hand. Oh, shit, yeah. I was dealt, you know, a full house, and I'm trying to play for four aces, you feel me? Yeah. I'm cool, you feel me? So, I, so I, 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 I've, said, I've yeah. said before that, you know, just the, just the men who invested in me being who I am sitting in this chair right now. We, we, we ain't even, we not even going to speak to the queens and the, the <laughs> sisters and the moms. We ain't to yeah, yeah, discuss a that, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a exactly. Podcast, damn so, so, so while we are still a part of this rat race, we both have been raised to have a civic consciousness and an awareness of the people who are around us and the people who are to follow us, right? And we're not raising little ones. So we don't have that but see, day Dave, but day. see, so 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 this is what I had a brother to kind of check me on. He was like, "Look, he's like, do do you go to meet with young men on any consistent basis?" I'm like, "Shit, yeah, that's what we do. That's what I do." He's like, "So he's like, there's at least one young man that you have had a chance to come across who you have said something that you poured the water on the seed and made the tree grow in that young man." Oh, I'm gonna do so, me. But look, but look, so so I I have in a way understood that. Like socially, we absolutely are raising little ones, right? Like, because you you got you got a baseball team that includes your nephew. That's not my point, though. That's about so on my team. I'm doing everything you're talking about, right? Right. Mentoring the whole nine, but that's my nephew. You feel me? And I was talking about. But he's not the only person on the team who gets your mentoring, though, Dave. Even even to the point where, like, I turned forty this past. What today is? Yesterday, right? So I'm so like, your birthday yesterday, son. Yesterday, son. Happy birthday. So I was hollering at one of my LBs. I'm like, <clears throat> you know, my wife and I, we live in this child free life. And it just got me thinking, why wait to start the intergenerational transfer of wealth, right? All right. So let me, let me get on this. Let me start, think, you know, start doing my research, might put some things in place. My day to day and the shit I could talk about, the moves I could make, are a direct result. Most right. parents would say is me not having to feed my nephew Kids. tonight. All right, I got you. You feel me? I got you. And I was talking to my brother about Korean technical education. You know me and you been about that, right? Right. I and still, I bust him in. Still got the proposal, son. Everybody got the proposal, Greg. Still got the Every, I told, I told my brother, everybody got the proposal. Everybody think that shit a good idea shit. for somebody else, child. And he was like, "Yeah, even you know, you know, my nephew." I'm like, "Okay, you got eight years. We gonna have a conversation again." My little nephew turned ten next week. I'm going to see if my brother talking that shit in seven years when he talking about he feel like everybody need to do two years of just working, just being out here and then go to college, right? And then let's get me on the cop, bring it back to the college shit. <laughs> These rich white people, the only reason them fucking schools is ranked that high is because your dumbass washed up child couldn't hack it at fucking Princeton and Harvard and Yale, so Williams and Barnard and Reed fucking and Reed, Mass and Wesleyan, man. Mass, they ain't even a safety school. Shit. They ain't no fucking for oh, them. Repping off all that shit. And for them, they still get the fucking degree. 
But for for them, but it only matter because other rich the, people. The job already lined up for them. Exactly. They, so it don't fucking matter. Exa- and that's what the they rankings are talking about. They just need a fucking shingle. That's all. They can call you. Your Paul Bill is, it, 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 it ain't like, it's it's cliche in the sense that, oh, your name on the library, you could go. We saw the modern shit with the, uh, with the housewife, um, the TV, book of, the couple of TV old, paying for their daughter to go to USC Oh, okay, shit. the little scandal. Basically, yeah, the little, the, 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 basically, the only reason you're in jail, because you got... You got caught. Broke nigga money. You, you, you got, got You got rich money. Yeah, you, you ain't got, got wealthy money. You, you got caught. That's you got caught. Because you rich. You ain't wealthy. Yeah. Wealthy is... We don't, oh, even, know, we don't yeah. even know who those people are. Yeah. Their, name, their names were never mentioned. Is exclusive. Their names were never mentioned. Because... Their daddy owned the fucking media channel. Yeah. Who's going to fucking say something about but that? But they're the top 10 liberal arts college. For what? Because somebody bought them in. Because you can speak Greek. Bitch, do you speak Swahili? I don't even know what languages they spoke in Mali, but they was doing it bigger than fucking Ireland. In the 1300s? Period. But, like, so that that's going to go back to... Hey, but like, speak but, but look, let's, let's go back to, the, to the man... Hieroglyphic. That's not a language. Let's what go, language but, Let's speak? go back to the man coming up to make the com- that comment that he made. This nigga laughing at y'all. Then got boogle cheese. So, he laughing. So, so that's exactly what this, this list laughing. does. That's exactly what that list did. When 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 uh when the it brother validates when the your brother special from Dillard, needs dumbass when the, child when the brother from Dillard got money. called the man the and asked him me. and asked him about Hate the fucking me. listing, he bumbled around the answer for like two minutes and then afterwards somebody else came up to him and said, so you know, he he definitely didn't want to answer that question for a reason. He can't answer the question. But period. He can't answer it because if he does, then the whole fucking jig is up and then they have to admit to something that for as long as this shit's been in existence. It doesn't exist. That that's not, shit. That's not how we operate. I'm going to tell you that shit. That's for. not our SOP. That shit for Baron. That shit for Eric, 45 last name. Yeah, man. That shit for fucking the, the washed up ass, mediocre. Not even mediocre. Slow. But when not you, on the spectrum slow. But when you control. Dumb, they, slow, last they, motherfucker who graduated nah, see, with I, Sasha and Leah from that's, Sidwell. That's fine. That's the motherfuckers who go on to these liberal but arts. Let's, let's talk about, go off. Let's talk about don't matter. how when you control for the issues that cause HBCUs to typically sink in the fucking listing. Wait. When you control for those factors, almost all of the... I think, didn't they say Dilla would have been somewhere around fucking four or some shit like that? With, like, come, come on, bro. So, again, like, so, so, the, so the value of black education is in large part determined by the income or the socioeconomic status of the students who enroll at the school. The perceived That's the value. value. Well, I'm, well, we're, talking, we're talking about the and list right now. So let me go That's off. what the list says. Let me go off. So We know better because we have about, experience. But not everybody know better. And that's the point. It's the perceived value. So I was talking to a person, and how would alumni get on your fucking nerves? And like we stunt. They come with the uh, we stunt because we who we are. You we, understand? We immigrate. My parents immigrated to the, this country, and we didn't really know about the HBCUs. We looking at the U.S. News and World World Report. Mm-hmm. That's because you ain't ask no black people. Y'all think y'all so did it. Y'all won't be African American or Caribbean American or South American. Y'all niggas too. Ask niggas what's going. On. Niggas knew about Howard, so about you, Xavier. So you divide Man. those two peoples when that immigrant population, because they they're typically going to perform very well. They cold. So th- so so they're going to add to the academic prowess of the university. So why would I allow this young man to go to Howard when I can talk him into going into North Carolina State or something so like that. Now we're talking about value. Why? If you talk to black people, and not even like your neighbors, because you don't want to live around them, you talk to the black people that's your fucking boss at the job. They didn't go to no motherfucking northwest below the bayou state. No. They went to Dillard. And if your silly ass a bother and ask, well, what's Dillard? Well, they promote, they uh, graduate. And produce more black physicists than then any all those in the country. Com- combined, son. But your ass combined. sitting there wondering 
why your boss that's that blew my fucking mind son. why your boss your black boss then went to a school you never heard of that fucking blew my mind son how this nigga get this job he not even she not even so yeah Sure yeah, he ain't wait, even Haitian. So wait, I just got I just gotta give this. They real man. actual niggas getting these jobs. How do these niggas get man, these jobs? Fuck that shit. We, we gotta give stuff? Dilla Day shout out, son. Like mm-hmm. j- just from the shit that was played down in that article in that podcast, man. man. Like, Every nigga I know graduated from Dilla. Graduated from Dilla, got hustle game son, on lock. It don't matter son. what they graduated in. It don't matter. So most of them, but business, just when you're talking know, about, but when you're talking about perceived nursing, value of education, man. you're talking about Prince. I think you said Harvard graduated what one physics? I didn't say that shit. One, no, I'm saying that's, Remember, that's yeah, he had to yeah, translate from me. Yeah, so, so it's yeah. Like one, one, one in like five years, one in five years. These niggas in about eight, nine a year, a year, top. a year. So like, how, how are we talking about the real value versus the perceived because, value when you got this, all of these brainiacs, these geniuses, these people with all kinds of so, academic prowess coming through these universities, so again, being trained there and becoming much more proficient and effective in whatever they study? I'm not knocking the two. What I told. You know, people I talk to about that, because I ain't sending it, you know I had to go off. If I feel that kind of way about it, where I'm sending it to you and Woo, just like not even putting it on the runner show, like I got to send it, yeah, I go off, right? So I don't knock the idea. I don't even knock the rankings, right? All, you, all we got to do is realize best for who, right? And if we just look at it like that, and just say, okay, these are cool rankings. This ain't what's best for me. At least I got the information of what they value so I can identify some of those traits when I make my decision. Now, and you talk, it's, it's established. Like they had a green book, right? Right. You knew where, where you could go. Back, yeah. You knew where you could go. Not only where to go, but among your options to go. Right. You knew where you could go. Breakfast was hitting over here. The room's clean over here. The nightlife good over here. Stop at Dookie's. You it's pick, understood. You pick what you want. It's pick. understood. It's understood. What I'm trying to tell black people first, the information is out there. Howard wasn't just cold because Madam Vice President is an alum. But Even I, though, again, I was slipping. How, Howard is. I ain't, know, I ain't know shit about Howard. Clarify that shit. I ain't know Howard the first, nigga, until junior year of high school. Ain't that something? So. Nothing about So, So this, this is my thing. A representative from Howard came, stood in room one at the all. That's the all. That wasn't McMahon. But I'm just saying. That's the all. Came, stood in room one at the all, mm. right? And talked to us about us being able to continue in a in affirming ourselves as black men yeah. on that campus. Period. I didn't care what else we were saying. When I talked to my daddy about it, like, we went to Georgetown, and I was like, this ain't what's up. It ain't me. I went to LSU wait, and felt the wait, same Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this ain't Then I me. walked on Howard's campus while the AKAs was coming up. Yeah. That was my first vision. Greg, I went during the, uh, the end of Mardi Gras break. Yeah, you're not even listening to what the fuck I, I just told you. I am. You. You when what I'm what telling I you, I had the exact opposite experience. Boo, cool of them coming out. So you mean to tell me yeah. we over here with gothic buildings with gargoyles on them? Yeah, that was 2001. that's Georgetown. And then I come right over here to, to Northeast, and I'm like, so wait, hold up. Yeah, like, it's 2001. So wait, yeah. wait, so wait, wait. So this is what's going on? And, and, and the teachers wrote the books that they teach motherfuckers out of? But let me hit you with Sign this. Me up. I went to LSU Excuse for my visit. Drew Hall, here we come. On the most beautiful day I've ever seen. If you ever been on LSU campus, man, you ever seen thirty beautiful black women all coming Greg, out? Let me and finish. You, like you talking about finish. the day? Let that me was, finish. You talk about the weather. Shit. Both of these visits were my senior year. Are right? you dumb? What's Both the of these visits were my senior year. I was at LSU. You been up there, right? Yeah. Beautiful campus. Yep. Just beautiful. You know, with the moss hanging off the trees. All and of shit, that. You know. And it's twenty six thousand people. So you are gonna find? You are gonna eat basically? If that's if you a hound out you yeah you right know, right whatever, right right <laughs> nigga I and that was like April May so like right toward the end of the semester mm-hmm. when it wasn't jam packed 
at LSU, mm-hmm. but it was yeah, yeah. It's LSU. It's yeah, it's understood. 26, yeah, I mean, I'm about to say you got yeah. a, you got a healthy student it's population. Half of Baton Rouge, right? Right. Three months before that, February, our Mardi Gras break. The NO got Mardi Gras break. For those of y'all who right washed right and don't live in the NO, don't know nothing about it. Basically, wash. I went up there for Mardi Gras break because we get off of school for that, right? Right. February in the district. The parades and shit. February in the district. The snow slush on the ground. Oh, no. Cold. It was raining the whole weekend. And this was old district. Like, mm-hmm. the district that you walked to the dorm with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the snow storm. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is what's going on. The district like, that you pledged it up to Drew Hill. This ain't the old foods. This ain't the old foods behind the towers. I understand. District. This the original Ho Chi. 99 district. Ho Chi. What? Ah. Ho Chi got the, 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 the projects behind Drew. Base. Not the, the subdivision. Greg. I went to practice baseball in the basement of the Burr, where they played intramural basketball. All right. That's where we played baseball. That's right. what practice was. All right. I'm in that bit with some Eastland boots and everything. Not even thinking this is the washing shit I ever been a part of with baseball. Ever. With, with baseball, right? Oh, I man. go to lunch. I go to dinner. In the, the tea, in the cab. In the cab. In the cab. With the tea. Shooting the shit, whatever, whatever. They cool with the soccer team. Right. All them is like, and they had a bunch of freshmen on both teams. All right. So it's the calf calf. We ain't no punch out nothing. It's yeah, it's the calf. You got broke both, freshmen both. in the calf, right? Ten tables. Yeah. Yeah, we out here. Game got, I was supposed to go to the game. Game got rained out. Wind up going to DC Live. Or the Ritz or something. Uh, so you had to, you had to, you had to detox rub early. <laughs> Cold as fuck. I ain't got no coke. Raining. Ain't no cab oh, picking up two shit. niggas. Yeah, that's dying. That's we happening. walking it back to Drew. Damn, they got pneumonia. I'm in Drew Hall. Sleep on the floor with a blanket. Three months later, I go to LSU. Have the most beautiful campus experience ever. You think I ain't going to hide what you do <laughs> You just feel it. So you, know, you know what's for you and what's not for you. I done been in the Riley Center at Tulane. Boy, D can speak on it. We did I worked at the Riley Center. Kind of, yeah, me and I, I we mean, we went We went to we we high school. Oh, all right. I mean, show me the ball. We the ball at the yeah. Riley Center. So all of that is with these these peewits, whatever. Yeah. These white people got to offer. Man, I'm in the bird catching ground balls. And then Blackburn eating in the calf in February in the district. You think I'm going to hide what you do? Yeah, I mean, I, so there, there was – I was surprised to find out how it had a band to begin with, yeah, first I of remember, all. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even know. Yeah. Because when she started talking to me about this education shit, I was like, well, you know, yeah. it's over. You know what I mean? Then, then the band director sent for – the band director showed up at the AUG. Me, Jared Ivory. He brought us in, Mr. Hamp office. He gave me some sheet music to read, ran it. He was like, man, you want a scholarship to play in the band and had? I was like, y'all got a band? What? A scholarship? Bro, what? Give me uh, first two of, all, of them. First please. of all, we already had the academic scholarship. Snare and symbols. Now, let me get all that. Man, man, let me get that. Let me get all of that, right? But it, but it was the experience. To me, I feel like Howard was damn near a continuation of the all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was The academics was elevated. The rigor Obviously, was 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 absolutely graduated, but the experience of being affirmed around my own, like you you I just you you can't you can't put a price tag on that shit, man. I it wouldn't sacrifice that for that nothing. Nothing. And niggas in charge. Well, that too. That's a whole different level. That too. Yo, so so hold up, wait. You talking to it's a hustle game. You talking yeah. to the person who moved I'm, Bean and Jared on the list this. so that I could put them Damn. right next to me yeah. as. As they as the RA, like that was that was part of the list. You, you know had what I mean? To be like ready for this life. We, but but you had to be ready for. But this life. the objective was to make sure that I could keep my own around me. You, you had to be mean? ready for this life, though. Keep my own around me. And I feel like ran in the cow and uh, uh, Mike preacher man. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, you know, still you still got an opportunity to take care of your own man. And I I just don't feel like that would have. Those kind of organic bonds with brothers 
and you just I mean you you the NO gonna find the NO. Like that's that's a that's whole understood. different that's a whole different side yeah. of the conversation. The but to be able to make them organic bonds with brothers, like I got cool with dudes that was on a baseball team with y'all just because we was kicking it. You know what I mean? Like like got cool with them. The NO is a special Like I said, they, they, but we we gonna find each other. Mm-hmm. But in that space to be able to build them kind of organic bonds with brothers, I just don't feel like that would have been an option for me at uh a, a, a UNO or a, a, a University of Texas or a big PWI. I just don't, I don't see like that would that wouldn't happen for me. So now, don't see this, it with this context. Don't see it. Why people? With this context, I'm really left again, and I'm just gonna run down. Who am I time we got? Is it go off? Is it go off situation? Yeah, we good. Like, right. like we good. So I I didn't got a whole bunch of. No, I'm going to just, just run the ones we could just tick off. So, you know, last couple of weeks, they've been talking about this panel or the bipod that committed January 6th. So it's two things. One, we all, everybody know what happened. One, them, no, nobody want to really Who's t- talk about what this? really happened. Two, again, Democrats as hoes. They slamming <laughs> niggas right now. Won't you just let the U.S. attorney do their job? And just have a press conference. It's like, why are you wasting people time talking about? But but even with the sla- investigation, even, even with everybody the, know what even happened. Even with the slamming, Dave. I just saw on the news like yesterday, day before yesterday, a guy who was involved in the you know the the, the breaching of the Capitol. They gave him like eight months, like you know, like eight months or some shit. Like, but but my whole thing is if. If two black dudes get on the phone right now and say, hey, dog, meet me at the store. We about to smoke a pound of weed. Me and you might get slammed right now Man, if we wasn't the in the FBI location. will be at the gas station waiting if on us. If we wasn't in international waters. They would be at the gas station waiting and on us. So y'all, y'all say y'all was about to go? So Now they just not slamming niggas so from good? Haiti. They slamming Cuban niggas in international waters. So we got to be. Man. If they slam the EVI, how can us. two black men? How can two people? Let, let's just yeah. take let's let's remove the descriptive. But Greg, how can two people? Well, no, because it probably had to be two black people. Greg. How could how could two black people, like like, smoking weed, be more of a threat and a danger so, to this country than somebody who violently stormed the Capitol and put the lives of the people who run this country? At risk. So All of them was cowering. You making my point, dog. You All make, of them. You making my point. The Republicans, too, who claim to think, it would say it was a tour. It, you would mistake it. You would would have mistaken it for so this a, is what a, I mean a tour of by, citizens visiting the White Get the fuck, by man. By petty and mean, and even if you don't think you being racist or being racist, uh, you still racist. So... But it's not it's a thought. Petty, it's a whole. Dog. It's a whole ideology. Democrats, right now, instead of addressing... Niggas actually still in jail for weed. All the infrastructure bill, which mm. basically robbing that, mm. you creeping mm. in the whole status. Mm. You was, you see now. So I was giving you that pass. But whatever, we'll get back to that. But I Democrats just feel like, want I just you feel like he really thinking about, Democrats really want you thinking about investigating January 6th. This shit happened on TV. What we got to, exactly. What we got to invest in, and niggas getting slammed. It unfolded live on TV. Me and you know ain't nobody about to do no real time for this. Right. But they're not calling that out. Right. And saying nobody should be in jail for weed. Right. They want a hearing to do what? That's petty, dog. No, actually, right now, they're fighting over who can be on the panel. Who can be on the panel? No, that's petty. petty. That's pe- I mean, so we go, so we go, so we gonna shit time off. Yeah, fighting on the Constitution or the 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 the, the ho- however the 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 panel is staffed, but we're not gonna spend any time on what should be the substantive issues that the panel is designed to 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 address. When you don't even need the panel to begin with. Period. The, the shit happened on, on TV. TV. So uh, so so like you said. Allow the local authorities, the national authorities, the federal authorities to follow the procedures. To that they, let them follow the procedures that they have. We just have to be in let position. Let them plead the fifth. From the Democrat side, we move. just have to be in position to hold feet to fire when the, the punishment does not meet the crime. Fuck which in most cases, it's not going to. I don't even care, Greg. 
I, I don't I, care whether or not them white people go to jail. I don't expect that. I, I, but see, I don't want them talking about that shit while they got niggas in jail for weed. Agree. And we letting them slide Agreed. on that. The niggas in jail for weed don't I, care how long. I do care if they go to jail. Look. Them, I them niggas in jail for weed. Women in jail for being victims of violence and killing their domestic. They don't give a fuck whether or not them white people go to jail for dancing on Pelosi. So, death. so this I is what I'm, this is what I'm saying. Somewhere right now there is a conservative who is happy that a woman went to jail and is still incarcerated for enrolling her child in the wrong school district, right? Like, they're, they're thrilled, fucking tickle pink. So with that same energy, I want every person who walked their ass in that building illegally to get body slammed, choke slammed, picked up, swung around by their shirt, and then body slammed again. That's what I want, because guess what? America has a, has a thing for serving justice when mm-hmm. people commit crimes. Mm-hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, if, if enrolling your child in the wrong school district is such a heinous crime, breaking into the capital of this country should get you buried. I'm, and I, and I, I want to see it. I, I want to see it. I, I, I want to see that. I think we both say. I want to see that pain. In it because all of the people that was arrogant and, all right, we're going to take the capital, take the capital. Well, take these 20 years. I think we both are screaming and yelling for equity and even-handedness. And although we disagree on, I don't think none of that shit... Gonna ever happen. I, I, no, I, what I'm saying is, I don't care if it's eight months, it's eight months for both, or it's 20 years for both. That's what I'm saying. It's not yeah, gonna be. Again. It's not gonna but be. But Democrats really sitting up here talking about... It's cool. Not even that. They not talking about niggas in jail for weed. But they want to hold a whole hearing special panel on some shit. Everybody know what it was about already. And then on the other side... It it gives the appearance that they're actually working. On the other side... I'm going to get to that. On the other side... It satiates your thirst to see feet moving. This nigga, Mitch McConnell, and it's like... Game recognized game. I game actually respect game. that motherfucker at this mind. point now. I respect him I at respect this point. I respect his whole mind. Because he just said, fuck y'all. And I'm mad. And I'm, and I'm going to keep saying, fuck y'all. What a Democrat nigga at like just this? Just teach me how to say fuck you in two Where different languages. What a Democrat at like this? This That's nigga Mitch know. said, fuck y'all poor people. I don't give a fuck these how y'all Democrats get Democrats giving y'all this money for having all this shit. I ain't giving shit. Know that that shit wasn't about. I don't if want it y'all was to get nothing. Y'all wouldn't have got Y'all wouldn't have got Y'all got less than shit. We would have took more from y'all broke ass. Basically. Bottom line. To make sure that you, you have more of the pause. You got to make sure. If you don't fuck with it, this so, ain't for you. So in one of our first conversations on the go off, I said that America is built on the idea that you got to have somebody to step on. So the poor's got to be populated. You got to, you got to have a number of them in order for the, the small Greg, elites. The to look got to. on this nigga got face. is the same look he had when he was like, I'm going to make sure Barack Obama. It was even more, no fucks left to give. It was worse than that. This nigga got on TV and further. said, we actually mailing checks to y'all broke niggas. No thanks to me. I got out, I hoop and holler, do not send these poor motherfuckers no checks. So so you say you say And he, he ain't even about to get checked. You say in Robin the poorest it. state in, in the, the country. country. Right. So, so I'm gonna I'm borrow one of my one of my, my, my dad's analogies. He said in a lot of instances, Mitch McConnell has stood up and advocated for particular cuts to the budget. So why not start with the cuts to the people who he represents? Since he wants to see the cut so bad, cut, cut the poor people in your in your district who already don't have shit. Greg, cut them further. Cut them further. I did. I don't want cut none of the poor niggas. Cut them again. Cut them again. Nobody poor getting a check. But these sissy ass, I'm sorry. But you got dude, Robinette. Slur ass you got Robinette. Democrats gave y'all motherfuckers the check. I, I let so it be known wait, from wait, here going wait. forward, I'm not about poke Those people. Those same y'all. Democrats criticized 45 for wanting his name on the checks, right? What did Robin do? He mailed motherfuckers a whole letter. Damn near a picture. A whole letter. 
Now, he, he ain't just like, look, I'm going to just sign my name in a memo line. He sent you a whole letter so you know who sent you this check. So really, I mean, where, where's, the, where's the difference? So that's like, what I, so my regular people, and you regular, to be clear. And I'm a, I'm a, I just got to put this out there. So the amount per child is 250 uh, if they over a certain age. Wait, 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 wait. Did hold you up, listen hold to up. NPR? Man, hold up, Dave. When the check came out? So if a, if, a, if a mother gets a check for $250 for her 15, 16-year-old son who plays football, right. how much money do you think that lady spent a month? On right. groceries, just to feed that boy. Did you think you hear, she probably spend that two fifty in a week or two? Did right? you hear? So NPR. Are, we, are we really trying to help people, right. or are we just trying to put another little, you know, check on a on, on a check in the box to say we did something that considers us to be progressive and on the side of of, of everyday working people? So let me be clear in this, and I'm gonna call you out. Like, I'm gonna ask you. Did you listen to NPR when the shit came out? I didn't. I'm going to say this abundantly clear. If you got a check and you vote Republican, you stupid. Let me slow it down. <laughs> if you got a check and you vote Republican, you are a stupid person. I'm going to just put that in the street. So you're voting against your interest. Call me. No, it's not even a vote against your interest, right? And I'm wh- oh, why I say oh, oh, that. We can, we can have that conversation. Why I say that is because of what I heard people spending the money on. All right. Wide ranges All right. of socioeconomic strata. Right. Right? Everybody get it. You just got to have a child. If, if one had to draw a spectrum... One might say that what I heard on NPR goes from about 10% to about 99%. So some people are spending a whole check on groceries. Some people are spending a whole check on swimming lessons for the toddler. If you got a check and you vote Republican, you stupid. If you got a check, you poor. So, you poor. So, so in either of the lottery in, in with either standing, of the circumstances you described, lottery withstanding, voting Republican, you're voting against your interests. Uh, even lot, even if you spent all of the money on groceries, lottery withstanding, or spent the money on swimming lessons for your child, that's in that's in your fucking interest. Lottery withstanding, and you're not stupid with that money. You too. not ever about to be out the range. Uh, people who ain't about to get that check. Right. So, again, are y'all just that plugged into fuck it, say la vie, carpe diem? Yeah. Fuck it. But for, for, I'm most, out here. for most white people, Dave, at the very least, they have the assurance that they're not black. So they they is they that, enti- is that they, peace of mind. They entire they, ap- they entire approach to this shit. They can take that one variable they off the fucking piece. table. They got that. Piece That's not I'ma man. Just, look, I'ma just ride this man, white thing shit. Out. I'm, See where it takes. Hey, me. like I, I, I I've heard I've heard in some conversations Republicans say that you know even like people who live in trailer parks. Like, they, they don't even understand the fact that this country is still bent towards them more than it's bent to a Period. black doctor who lives in Beverly Hills and got 47 different uh, properties. Like, they, it, they, they still got that piece. At that least they, I'm not in there. Man, at the very least. At the, at, at the, at the, least. And, and guess what? I'm sure that that provides a very large amount of comfort. What? Regardless of how you wake up or how you went to sleep the night before. The silence. You, you know... One thing is for sure. I might not have a dollar in my pocket, but guess what? But I got that piece. I got Man, that Man, I ain't got it like they got it. I ain't got it like they got it. So I, ain't, so I can be in a place where crazy, spending though. that money on, 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 on swimming lessons for my toddler, yeah. that's what's up. But yeah. you, me, we, we probably going to put that to gas or, you know, groceries or you something. Don't go there. I mean, but I'm, I'm just, black I'm, people spending money on swimming lessons I, too. Th- but, but there are far fewer of us who are doing that, Dave, because how many of us live in places where our kids have a consistent 
qu- high quality access so, to swimming lessons. So, where's it, that happening? So, you got two brothers that got kids. Lopsided. Where they go swim? Where they where they swimming lessons taking at? Multiple places. Uh, okay. Primarily at Nana and grandfather's house. So, but you ain't. You, they swimming lessons taking place. I said multiple times, yeah. Black people doing that shit. Yeah, no, black, yeah, black people, black people, uh, black people uh, play okay. baseball. Okay, okay so, so but, Which this is this, but this is what I'm saying. He said Mr. Mike. Yeah. He didn't say Mike's swimming teaching school. That's what I'm. That's the point I'm trying to make to you. Yeah. There's a, there is a difference between Mr. Mike, who my dad is in PMNO with, who come to the crib and teach all my grandkids how to swim, versus this is... Michael Washington, who owns Mike's Swimming yeah. School. That's a completely different conversation. So, yes, and I, that's damn near the whole next show. What I'm saying is, both of them getting a the check. Fucking right. Now, to keep them divided, we going to throw in a little voter suppression, disenfranchisement. The gerrymandering and all that shit. Yeah, we like, we going to throw in a little critical race theory. To the, you know, they trying to teach that. Which is only We're going to throw in somebody with a penis trying to beat my daughter in the race. You feel me? We're going to throw in all of these things that, again, I'm not trying to disrespect nobody, but petty, though. Smaller, not insignificant, because if it's happening to you, it's significant. So- but I'm talking about as far as betterment for everybody's life in this country, they highlight these. There's some consensus s- that's going to be required on some thing. shit, though, Dave. Yeah, but baseline, dog. But listen, but look, Dave. If it, the 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 reason that a lot of issues are on ballots is because they create division. It's not because that's the only reason. It's, that's it's, what I'm, it's saying. I'm a, saying. That's the only reason. It's, it's not. It's not designed to have us. Progress. Like come up with a voice that allows us to move yeah. forward. That's not what it's for. So that so I'm really asking. I think this the the information. That I know if it's not a, a cabal, a secret meeting, a secret society or something. Right. It don't necessarily have to be a conspiracy for people operating their own self interest to come up with sinister shit. Right? Agreed. So to that extent. It's, it exists. It's not a conspiracy theory. It just exists. Right. Right? And it exists because it's actual people making these decisions. Right. And my question is... Like the conversation is, with corporations. It's people. Is there a <clears throat> way of collective action or collective consciousness, given the age we're in, where everything is at your fingertips... And you can literally just shoot. I listen to all of the shits, right? 99.5 or 91.9 or whatever. Right, right. I I watch all the different news stations and all that shit. American Family Media, I'm shouting y'all out. Y'all give me what y'all audience is thinking. I respect y'all mind. Right. They as cold as NPR. Right. If that's your, if you have a conservative bent, I listen to that and think constantly, do, does NPR sound like they do to people to who have a are on a different progressive, probably more liberal event too. stage on the spectrum? You feel me? Right. So that's kind of two extremes. Right. But I'm listening to both. You got to. Yeah. Yeah, you got to. To be well informed, you got to. Is there a way for us to plow through? Because there's some stuff they're saying. It's like everybody takes the commonalities for a given. Right. And focus on the little shit. But the commonalities are the things that these elected people are refusing to do anything about while focusing on the small stuff. Those, co- those collective things purposeful. return power to exactly. the masses. And that's not what they That's not that's what not they what, about. Exactly, exactly. So that's we can't, not what they about. We can't allow that shit to happen. So we, so instead but of... But we're saying it. We're saying that right now. And it's not, it's not like... But saying it doesn't bring it to bear. It is to bear already. Like, people can look up, like, you can 
called the motherfucker's office. I get it, but how how does that translate into that just a, don't vote a for collective call social action, o- Dave? Call that person's office, see that they bout some bullshit, and just literally vote for somebody else. It no, doesn't. It doesn't even like they put their numbers out there. Like they giving you an invitation to all of the bullshit because. They know, believe, nobody will call them on it, and that's why they're getting tripped up. It's the egalitarianism of this device. Right. They can't hide. Right. They can't control the capturing of the content. But the objective by, is unless they hide. The objective is not to hide. And they definitely can't control it's not to hide. But that's what 45 it's to be, told. It's to be in your face. 45 Giving you the that narrative game. that I want you to follow. 45 change I'm, that game. I'm gonna plant the seed in you. So that you will be able to have a message that I craft. And that's why I call Democrats hope. Because even if the message was, y'all niggas go ahead and be happy with this $20 bill, or y'all niggas go ahead and ha- be happy with this January 6th inquiry, yeah. they don't have nobody up there believable. Nobody, they don't have no hounds. They talking about, oh, Cross the I I told motherfuckers the first time Robinette say across the aisle or bipartisan, bipartisan yeah. fuck that nigga. So fuck n- that shit. Nothing is bipartisan. Nothing. That's that's a that's a fucking myth. Like <laughs> they this this the the entire philosophy of this country is not bipartisan. The only bipartisan shit is these motherfuckers who got shit and control it. Overwhelmingly white and Wales. the rest white adjacent. And Wales. no, because you got you got black people, you got all the women, you got people with money. But the only thing they're trying to do is be rich white men. I'm saying the only I'm thing that's, that the that's bipartisan is saving the whales, right? Because that ain't cause, even that ain't bipartisan. Because when, when it when it comes to to progressive action that could tangibly Im- improve the lives of people, especially everyday people. They, they they have no they got no tolerance for that shit. There they, is no bipartisan. No tolerance for that. Somebody pissed off at everything that's happening. It, so I could have a million. In order for you to get one more, that's one more I don't get. And that 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 is their philosophy, right? So and Democrats hold. So, so Democrats, hold. when you step up to the to the plate and you supposedly representing the people who gave you these mandates, these people who you know brought their experiences to bear for you. What makes you turn around and say, I done lost all kinds of Nah, I'm, I'm cool. What, what makes you say, oh. I'm cool now? Like, what, what, what gives you the, 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 the comfort to just completely turn your back on the, the concerns and the needs of the, the everyday Previously, people? no iPhones, Instagrams, whatever. I'm t- so the most uncomfortable. And people, like, forget the before times, right? Before all of this Rona and shit like that, right? You know how the drove these motherfuckers was when they couldn't go out to eat dinner? Get a haircut. Or get a haircut yeah. because niggas had them on film? Yeah. Embarrass they ass. They was out with the same protest signs. He we was on, asking to not he be shot the by the flight, police. Going to Cancun during the freeze in Texas. They say he was going to just turn around and Man, come back, though. I'm calling and he you. he wouldn't have got caught. I'm calling you stupid. If you vote for that motherfucker again, I don't care. I got people that live in Texas. I they might have good people on both sides. You stupid. You are you are dumb motherfucker. But Dave, if you vote for that, if for your him, the other t- if your you mind stupid. if your mindset is one that those people don't belong in this country, those people are taken away from me. Those people Man. are. In, hold on. Those people are endangering me. And he says that shit one time. I'm, hold up. I don't give a fuck if he got caught coming off the plane with a bag of strippers. Look. All right? A whole bag, a, a Louis Vuitton duffel bag full of strippers. Guess what? If he say one time that I'm not with them people, guess what he going to get? Man. He going to get all them stupid people votes. And we just talked about a couple shows ago, one man, one vote, right? So if top to bottom... Top to bottom, if what means more to those people is keeping them others over there, then whether or not he got caught going to Cancun, I don't give a shit. So Who gives a language. fuck if I was freezing while he was in Cancun? As long as he keep them over there, I'm straight. I'm going to speak their language. Primary is fucking ass. So 
you hear a lot of this, oh, this person, he don't want to move further to That's what I was about to say. The, the primary right. is only going to be a further I, right I, I, version of Vote for him. Don't be a stupid motherfucker. This nigga a hope. Bottom line. This, everything you talk, oh, rugged Texas, man. This, this nigga didn't let 45 get on TV talk shit about his whole wife. And his daddy. Period. This nigga then basically said, fuck the poors and blamed his wife and his children for him going to Cancun when it's cold. That nigga a hoe. He you need. If you he, saying that's you gotta what be man enough to take If you saying that's what Texas bout, you a hoe. Bottom line, and I don't care if the the candidate you vote for is to the right or the left, you a hoe if you vote for him. I don't want his shit about that, Texas. That candidate. I, I don't want his shit about it. Right. I don't want his shit about. Texas, everything bigger in the Texas. The problem with that is individualism. Babe, if you gonna let nigga talk about your wife, in Texas. If you gonna let a nigga talk about your wife on international media coverage, if you gonna get on TV, you act and blame, like that fucking matters to if him. If you babe. gonna get on TV and blame your wife and your children, it must not matter to you. For you getting caught up, it must not matter. It's some petty ass scandal like you going to Cancun because it's cold. Bitch, it's cold. It do- I'm going. If y'all had the cheese, his, y'all only would have came. He didn't even say that. His family is of this nigga threw of his not that much value to him. He threw his daughters in the water. Oh, my kids wanted to go. That's why I had to act like an old whore ass nigga. Man, if you vote for him, you stupid. Bottom line. And this ain't right, left, up, down, liberal, concern. Otherwise, I don't care. If you saying that man represent what you talking about, as far as what you want this country to be, you're an old hoe. Bottom line. That's fine. Bottom line. And we we can we can stamp that. Bottom line. But the problem is they got dope. stupid motherfuckers who gonna vote for them. I, I, and that's what I'm calling out. Y'all stupid motherfuckers. And they they're going on. they're still gonna be the people who put him back in office. So right. So like I said, the thing that matters. So. We gotta start. We gotta start with the conversation, understanding that the issue of race is the fucking foundation of all of this shit. All right. So as long as, and I mean, to a lot of parts of this country, as long as you are clear about your stance on race, I don't give a rat's ass about how you feel about boys playing girl no, soccer. No, yeah. I don't give a fuck, no, man. No. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, if you about? if you could stand firm and say. I'm pure, pure white male, and I'm only Period. for the man. As long as you clear about that, I don't give a fuck if you want that uh, um, uh, that power plant two blocks from me that's gonna give me, my mama, and all my kids cancer and have an ear growing out of our fucking forehead. They don't care about that shit, Dave. And, and, and until people are willing to say that there is a racial component to every fucking conversation Period. that you're gonna have that Period. got anything to do with America, Period. you're gonna be lost. Yep, yep. You'll be lost. I'm not lost. I'm just, I'm putting it out there. And that's what I'm saying. Those people. We doing the they, show. We they put it out very there. well. We, we man, like, I totally agree. Those are some stupid ass motherfuckers to see and to, like, we just, before the show started, the genotype versus the phenotype. You understand what the fuck you saying, but what you see is something completely different. And you still, still cast your vote to make sure that this person makes decisions that impact your lives and the lives of the people that you call your neighbors, your family, your loved ones. I mean, that, so like, I'm a, that, I'm a, I'm that, that must mean the drive to hold on to the concept of race is more fundamental to America than baseball. So and come, this. The time, there's still people that's not as educated as no. So I'm, that, that's what I'm asking. So I'm being literally I'm being as non I'm going back. I'm being as non judgmental as I can. I will respect the whole fuck out your mind if you like, look. This the system for everybody, dog. Right. I look. I definitely wouldn't want to be black, but I can't be blamed for being for not being white. Black. Yeah, I got that. Like I got that. And I'm just out here living, dog. I'm like, doing what I can do. It is. I'm not trying to fuck over nobody. If you know the system set up where a move I gotta make fuck over somebody else, that ain't really my problem. My little one. You eat the I got look. Yeah, at the end of the day, yeah. nobody about to feed my little one but me. If a nigga right. say that. Then I can respect your mind. Then we could talk. Right. Because 
Then it's like ways where we never going to disagree. Agree on everything. You clear about your self interest. And we always though. gonna you be clear in about your own fucking self interest, right? But at least we can have an understanding as grown ass people, right? But if you coming at me, but if you coming at me, telling me the most important thing for you is that nobody in your state could get an abortion, I man, you 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 stupid. Man, okay, oh, you so, think I'm so, stupid so, and we can't so, talk. So, they don't give Period. a fuck. They so so. Wait a minute. Period. If you telling me that, hold on. Wait. No. They, no. Dean. Dean. Yes, th- it's harsh. Man, I think the shit yes, is, 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 is 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 very sinister. So if you want me to believe that that right there, a seventy something year old white man care about abortion gives a fuck whether a twenty one year old black Jackson, girl has abortion. If you think I believe. That he gives a fuck. I got a tropical oh. island in the middle of the night That's ward the, to sell to. It's petty and evil and, and it's, mean. That bitch oh. tropical. That bitch it's got petty and evil like and sand mean. and a moat around it and fucking palm trees. And I sell that bitch to That's you for like a, a cool Either mate, you right? stupid, either they cool stupid, mate. either they stupid or they think I'm stupid. The reason and I'm letting you know the reason with no the reason, reason that nobody is aborting no babies in Texas. Is because there is a clear understanding that population demographics are not going in a trend no that holds well for so, white people. So, more white on so you can't be you a little sauce. If, if we if we got to ban abortion Period. for black people to make sure that we get it done for yeah. white people, that that's the philosophy, Period. man. That's the mindset Period. behind that shit. Do y'all believe that there are white people who are racist yes. unintentionally? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. How do we treat those people? So this is, I again, I respect a nigga mind who say, look, dog, this the system. This shit not about to change by the time my child going to college. Hit licks. How do you deal with a white person who feels like that they're being attacked because we I don't give I a don't fuck, give fuck about your feelings. I don't care how you feel. I really don't. I don't care how you feel. I, I just don't. Okay. I don't so, give a yeah. So I'm gonna have a difference. Um, I don't, I don't care about that. your feelings. I understand what you're saying. I'm a black man as well, but at the same time, you have to realize that there are people out here that mm-hmm. are really no. Listen to me. They got people um out here that are really just living life. Now, yeah. They're, they're fortunate to live that life that's because how, they are white saying. and they are privileged. Right? That's what I'm saying. They don't want right. to get into politics. Just copy. They don't want to get in race. Just copy. They don't want to have to. Uh, pay for their grandfather's just, mistakes or their just father's cop mistakes. To that. They are regular person. Just cop to it. But and they we cool. But they don't want to be considered the person who you know. Yeah. Maybe uh, I feel. So, pro black because now they are getting fucked over in their own hood. So, so why, but why would them How not be deal with that person? It. All I'm saying is, I I get that's a very human and understandable. Self interest. I just it's I'm saying everybody recognize you operating this up. Like, don't gaslight me and be like, oh, I'm just not living life. If you're uneducated about certain things, don't just come out and tell me, well, yeah, I heard slavery wasn't that bad. Bitch, that's like I don't say that kind of shit. That's stupid. Be like, look. I had nothing to do so, with it. There's a lot of people that are uneducated. Exactly. I, I no, no, wait, stupid. wait, wait. Time you out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. I'm time just out. trying to play devil's time advocate. Time out, time out, time out. I wish I had my gear. I wish I had my bag this. with me. I'd throw all the flags out you across the fucking room right be, now. You, uh, let, me, let me be clear, because I tell this to every person, especially children born after this thing existed. You cannot be ignorant or uneducated about anything. Period. Hey, bro, look, 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 look. If you, if people if you, also choose to follow, um, nah, I ain't giving them that, want. man. Yeah, no, no, that no, word? no, no. I, I do Nothing. what to follow. I do what to follow. People choose. The, the, I choose. So if you, if you, <laughs> if you, I chose that shit. You have children. Yes. If you decide to keep information away from your child, that means you know what the information is. Period. That's why you don't want your child to have Period. access to it. So Facts. don't don't tell Facts. me that y'all just don't want critical race Facts. theory taught. I mean, taught in schools because you don't know what it is. Yeah, right. And you don't want people to teach how bad the you KKK was. With it. I'm speaking you, for the white people who I feel am. like it ain't my fault. I'm not an enemy, 
But but the, I don't. It's not your fault. But you, but you, you still you boot you boot still with can, you. But you still wake up in the but morning. And and my problem have, is you don't need to be speaking for them. Just speak for say, yourself. Speak for yourself. It's fucked up. Speak for yourself. Deal with it, niggas. But what if you don't want to say nothing? Don't say nothing. But you're gonna have. You, don't oh no, you're like, gonna you're gonna have to speak on the topic. You gonna have to say something. I don't something. need them. I if you, get to the point if, where you really have to. Because if you in a space with you feel if like you in a space with a with somebody who prone to go off, you gonna have to speak on the topic. Yeah. You gonna have to speak on the topic. Like, but that's case, how we choose to case in point. Hurt. Case in point. We choose case to in point. That, there, you know? I read a story about a brother who asked his job for Juneteenth off. Oh yeah. His June. I, I mean, his job told him no. Problematic. What did he do? Problematic. Brother went to the store and brought every cotton ball he saw on the, on the shelf. Got to work two hours early. <laughs> Pulled all the cotton balls on the floor. Took a chair, sat in the middle of the floor, and watched all his coworkers come and pick up cotton. I'm going to have my fucking June day. I'm going to have my Juneteenth. I'm going to have it, right? But listen, but listen. If you in a space with somebody who prone to go off, you gonna you gotta to deal with on it. The you got yeah. You gonna have, but that's somebody had to ask why we picking the cotton off the floor. What, what I somebody think, had to ask why he's sitting there in the chair with his legs drinking is, lemonade, laughing at us. What I think, what I think he's saying is, and what I'm saying is, you gotta speak on the top. Some people choose to carry that burden. Some people choose not to even engage themselves in it. So, and so, when I'm saying is. You engage. Do you want to walk out your house and engage in you the world? Engage. How the world treats you as a black man? You engage. Man? Do you, just say, man. Yeah, that's fucked up for do y'all. You, do you wake up some morning? I can't do nothing about do, it. Do you wake up some morning? Do you wake up some morning oh, and be like, so, "Fuck so, this shit"? So, for instance, right? And uh, you know, like I said before, I'm playing devil's advocate. I believe wholeheartedly in gay rights, yeah. uh, transgender yeah. rights, all of these different things. I may not, not necessarily believe uh, be an advocate for it. Yeah, right? right. I believe that yes, if you're treated wrong, anybody that ain't right. Yeah, that's right. not right. I'm with that, but I ain't really trying to help out. I got you. How do you feel about you that just person? Did it? But if you in a space, you just did it. But if you in a space and no. you see somebody, but there's getting, some people, uh, no. Dave, like you know, coach. They, it, it, but look, I don't even want to say all no, that. Listen, I listen. just don't want to say nothing. I just want everything to be chill. So, yeah, you Greg, can't live in this world. Period. But listen, I mean, you tell me. But listen, you you at some point got to speak on that topic, Dean. The way you the the way you was raised, the man that me, you are, you me. You know, but, I'm, but I'm just saying me. He's saying. But there are several people who feel like I don't have to speak on this topic. I don't have to say want. shit. He's saying your feelings don't matter no more. Yeah, you don't have to say man, something. man, fuck you your feelings. So, so, so when you get up in the morning, are you able you to flip? To are you able to flip off a switch and be like, all right, the world not gonna treat me no bullshit because I'm black? Do you do that? No. You you ain't got no fucking choice. So but it don't matter how you feel. Get the mic. Uh, you, it don't matter how you feel about that circumstance. You got to speak on that but topic, the, bro. But, 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 but that's but not stop. white people, Just plain de- I, That's exactly. not white, not white people. people. I, I'm, I'm, I don't I'm clear. have to speak on that. They can go so through that's life like, not having to speak on All right, hold on. Watch this. Okay, let's try to relate it to sports. So you about okay. to be in the space of that motherfucker that ignore Basketball. You? Pick up ball, right? Yes. Hold on, stop. To answer your question. Yeah, yeah, quickly. Yes. So, yes. Hey, really? Every Saturday. Not us. We oh. literally doing a show called Gutto. That's what I'm about to say. But that's not everybody. You can't put that on every black person, Greg. Greg, You can't Dave. put that on everybody. Man, Dave, you can't tell me you don't feel that shit in your heart. Of course, course you do. Like, yeah, of course I you do. I do. So, so just like you think those people in Texas. I can't who, put that on that man. I, I'm telling you now, if you in Texas and you vote for that, you a hope. Now, however he ra- rationalized his wholeness. That's on him, so, though. I so, can't step so into look, that so man's shoes. I've, 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 I've internalized this. Whenever I'm in, in spaces and, you know, it's a like a, a, a black thing, I'm not thinking about me, right? I'm thinking about... Because you built for this, Greg. You built for this. And guess what, Greg? Don't stop. Hold that's on. Us. That's guys, 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 can I, can I get two seconds? Listen to me. First of all, Greg, you built for this. Yeah. That's why we as black people need you and we love you. But that I'm a person everybody. also who's a realist. That's not everybody. We want that, right? So, you know, I want people to think how I think and feel how I feel. Really. You got kids like, to raise. I really want I this. It. Period. But it doesn't work that way. Period. Right? They got some, you know, I was trying to make this it just try, a, you know, something that everybody business. can Run understand. Business. Understood. 
Y'all go play basketball every Saturday. We're talking about our kids. The cold niggas always getting picked. Like, bitch, we the first team. We right. about to run everybody off the court. Right. There might be one or two people that really care. Like, damn, all these other people that be coming out, they don't really get a chance to play. Like, that's yeah. not fair. Most people don't give a shit. They yeah. just playing they basketball. They just trying to ball. Right. Yeah. They right. just trying to ball. They not really... You know, they don't, yeah, that's not, they not, they don't feel a certain type, you know, they shouldn't be on the same court. So, so, they just don't care. So, so this, this is, to, even, to speak on it. This is, and this is even more so why I say that. I'm clear that there are people who might not be comfortable speaking on it, right? But you ain't about to tell me that they don't have more go offs than they got. I'm going to just, I'm going to just be cool with it. Like, I, I, I don't believe that. Yeah. And, and I, that's and, what I, exactly and, what I'm telling and, you. And, and, for, and for me, that's exactly what I'm telling you. That there are more, Stay in the corner and be quiet, people, than go off people. Correct. It's not even stay in the corner and be quiet. It's handling their own business. They got shit that's outside of public discourse, so dog. But 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 pu- but public discourse comes into this your home, change, though, bro. Yeah, uh, but this would this would change a lot if you had to raise your hand to vote. Yeah, so we could know who's who. Yeah, but that would change a lot. To answer your question, it's like it, they, it's they don't not. Have to answer. Because right now they don't have to answer. They can go to the poll and vote for Trump. Oh, you know. And it's not a stay in the corner. So what I what I what I want to communicate to you is some people, like in, in a practical sense, like business, right? Business doesn't care what the policy is. Mm-hmm. They just want the consistency. cert the predictability. Yeah, consistency. All right. Yeah. So if it's fucked up. It's fucked up. We're going to figure out how to operate our business in a fucked up environment. If it's good, we're going to figure out our business there. Right. A lot of people are going about the business of their lives, responding and doing the best they can to their condition. I have the luxury, you have the luxury, to never be the shush nigga. Like, you gonna have to tell me shut up in every setting I'm in. I don't care if I'm ordering lunch. You gonna have to. Yeah. You, not you gonna have to. You gonna have to not only make a stance. You gonna have to explain it to me. Right. That ain't everybody. And what I'm telling you, the what how university is primarily built on is that that is about ten percent of niggas. You feel me? That's about 10%. See, and so and I'll, I'll, it's the 10% of the 10%. Because the most people who rank and file, you're not even going to say rank and file, but most people who left this place that you know trained and provided us all of this development, we only 10% of the people who graduate. Like, it's not everybody who wake up and just go off or who devote careers to going off. Right. And I don't, I definitely don't judge them people, and I definitely don't judge white people who doing the same thing. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, cop to the shit. It's cool. Yeah. Like, on some man shit, but Dave, if that's how you really, if that's what we, you at, we gotta find something wrong it. with people who in a space and not saying nothing and then people who keep doing the same shit because they don't know that's something is fucking wrong. That's there. what we do, dog. Everybody came. So so came so, I'm, so I'm gonna go on, back to the point that I was making. Everybody came came devote that kind of time. Dog. I get it, and I'm I'm not expecting everybody to. But what I'm saying is, vote. Like, just we just talked about these things, yeah. right? So, and I talk about voting all the time. So that's the little shit people would do. So but and it's not but, little but if shit. You, but if you if you follow any social media platform. I'm I'm not willing to digest that there are more people who are willing to just hush. I'm not. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't digest that but shit. You, yeah. I can't digest. Now that. you caught up in a people live different lives situation. Dog. No, 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 no. Life, I'm, dog. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about that, Dave. I'm talking about people who are willing to call out bullshit when it's in their line of sight. But man. you also talking about okay, from what you see on social media, you can't believe that they got more, you know, handle my own business niggas than. You know, out in the street next. No, that's I'm saying because there are people handle my own business. So look, when I'm talking about everybody you see on social media is an out here nigga, and I'm telling you, that's closer. I don't agree with that. 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 I don't agree with that, Dave. 
I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. I don't agree with that at all. So y'all really think there are people that on social media who wouldn't say a word. Not go not not the majority of people. So so not the so majority. Not, so now you taking the same you taking the same disposition but that I just had twenty I'm seconds ago. So of the people on social media, would you even characterize the majority of them as go off people? No, I'm not throwing I, the people that's not on social media. No. They definitely not go. I wouldn't off at people. all. I wouldn't at it all. It is not the majority of people, dog. Sure it's is. not the majority of people. It's just like no, it's no, it's definitely. It's not, not even no, close. No, no, it's no, not no. even close. You know, really making a judgment off the people who decide to post something that's accessible on your phone. The, that's I'm, not the majority I'm, of people. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Ta- I'm, I'm talking about what I've, it, what I experience and personally, and what I see through this device. But right? that ain't the majority of people, Greg. That ain't the majority of America. It ain't. But but my my experience. But that's a limited exper- experience. Well, I mean, but what? What? I can only speak from the knowledge that I got. Well, no, you so, can't. So I'm. They I'm, have I'm, people who I'm study really, this kind of shit for a living, Dave. And you're not gonna tell me that the majority of people you. interface with bullshit and just like you know what? That's fucked up. I'm gonna just go get a salad or something. That's exactly what I'm saying, Greg. Uh, yeah, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't buying that. That's exactly. I'm not buying that. That is I'm not America. That. Case point definition. Put a picture next. If you to it. if you put a skin color on that, maybe we can have a conversation. But I'm not about both. Just, man, both. Man, nah, nah. Yes. Nah. Yes. Nah. Whatever way they vote, if they don't vote, if they're young, if they old, the majority of the people are exactly as you just described. See bullshit in the face every fucking day and don't say a motherfucking thing. We don't even say a motherfucking thing about all the bullshit. We say a lot, but the majority of people, dog, they're not thinking on that shit, dog. They're not thinking on that shit. They don't have the luxury to think on it. They don't have the inclination to think on it. Social media has just recently allowed people that platform to even speak. And it's not everybody. It's egalitarian, but let's really be sober and say it is not the majority. uh, The majority of America want to have a big screen, watch the game, Get a six pack, go to the beach, kid graduation, off to college, retire with the RV, uh, mer- uh, we going to Africa. Everybody, dog, that's America. For you, I'm going to just, I'm, look, it ain't us. It ain't going on. It ain't the motherfuckers you see on your phone. The majority of people. But, but I, I, don't, I don't mean just go off on behalf of the issues that are, are valuable to us. Period. They but, might go off with the church group. They might go off. I don't give a fuck if you go off in a game. tissue box, Dave. I, I'm I'm saying that the, I refuse to believe that at at this point, with 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 where social awareness is at this point, at this crossroads in our history. I'm, I'm not willing to believe that there are people who just going to just be like, you know what, Greg, man. I'm telling you I'm right now today. I'm, th- they, they got there are way some. more people. Hold up. They got way more you gotta people. You got to have a conversation about it. They got way more people Dave. who care about Dave. Who care about. You just talked about the new whether or not you got a dick going in the women's bathroom. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So you go, So if you could talk about that, you def, you damn sure going to talk about some somebody being discriminated against or or, or being given treatment that is not equitable. I feel like if it's on the news, people about to talk you, about you, it. That's it. And, you're about to, and that's another How it get another, there, though? Uh, different show. How, how, but how does, it, how does it get there? Well, Some, somebody got to say something. Yeah. Somebody, somebody got to be the guy. I'm just, I'm speaking that's what we do. Point. Yeah. Oh, it, ex- we I'm, can't expect that I'm, from everybody. I'm, I'm not expecting it from everybody. I just want niggas to vote. I'm saying. I don't expect everybody to go off. I, I, want, I want people to vote, too, but I want the candidates that people who vote for to have some accountability to the people who voted for them. Like, that's... Cause that's on us, too. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's, a, it's a two-sided street. Make them embarrass them. Follow them motherfuckers to dinner. But Follow you, them when they jive. You have to have a call person... Call bullshit You have time. to have a person who embarrassment is an accountability stream for them. Right. They have some people that don't give a fuck about oh, no. whether or not you get embarrassed. Wait. No, 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 no. We just everybody about, embarrassed about something. We just everybody embarrassed about something. Let me put that in the street. And where 
these people try to play it. And as a, I guess, becoming a public media, a public figure, everybody be like, okay, this shit is fair game because I talk about this as part of my politics, but this shit, oh, we can never talk about. Bullshit. Bullshit. And that's what I'm saying. The reason these politicians don't call out the other politician is because they have a gentleman's, you know, whatever the sexes feel it, about that it's, agreement it's that got, if you don't call out my bullshit, I won't call out yours. It's got nothing Fuck to do. That. It's got nothing to do with policy making and representation of an elected constituency. That's got nothing to do with it. That is embarrassment of you got pictures of this senator fucking a goat. That's I'm, that, that's the shit I'm talking about. When you don't give a fuck about somebody calling out you going to Cancun while your constituency freeze, then that's a different type of attitude. They like he don't give a fuck about that. Yeah. So you so you gotta have an elected official or a, a, a candidate or somebody who you embarrassing no. them about a particular issue no. matters to them. That's not how this thing works. This thing works where the ultimate accountability is people getting the fuck up and voting them out. That's why I'm not calling out. I don't even know who the fucking other senator is from Ted Cornyn or any senators in the Senate. But it's not their job. It's not their job. Not put it's premium. not their job to pull him out. They, it's the whole ass motherfuckers in Texas they, who gonna go in that box and gonna vote for a nigga and, who lets somebody else talk about his wife on international TV right. and who hold out and blamed his own wife and his children okay. for one of his fuck-ups. All right. That's who's to blame. It ain't no other and, elected leader to hold him accountable or nothing that like you that. you just itemized Period. is of any fucks to the people who voted for him. That's on that, and that's what I'm saying. You owe. Nothing, that's all I'm nothing saying. Nothing that you just But let's make no mistake. is of any value to the people who voted for him. Let's make no mistake. Then that is what we up against. Then that... Is where we at? That's America. That's, so that's that's, that's why I'm, that's, I'm. So we we. So Greg got me. We done, we done, yeah. We done, we done I'm on the right. It, I'm on the same page. We done brought it back around to to the to the to the initial conversation. This is fucking America. This this that's America. So you you actually have people who think that the fact that he left me freezing in my house, in my neighborhood, in my city, in my state, for however long he left. There are people who say that's not as important as Mexican. As his, Ain't no Mexican as his freezing next door to me. Stance Ain't no that Mexicans. I don't want them people crossing that border. Ain't no Hondurans freezing next door to me. Long as long as they ain't got no Guatemalans. I don't give a shit how cold I am. Cold. I don't give a shit. Put we'll, a blanket we'll, on. We'll, we'll, we don't have water. We'll go take water out of somebody's pool and and we'll 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 light one of those Coleman uh campfires. I punch that nigga in the matter. face if I see a Salvadorian though. Motherfucking America. On that note. It's the goal, son. Oh, man. So, Wooden took the whole fucking computer down. Yeah, he ain't closed. That bitch yeah. is gone. Yeah, ain't got no, ain't no sign. Nothing this. on the fucking board. He got his slippers on. Like, man, <laughs> my fucking feet hurt waking on y'all. Yeah, you know, Dino oh, jiggling yeah. keys. So, it's like, Ew. man, it's, it's time, man. Y'all just hurry up, man. It's the fucking goal, man. Holla at y'all.